In November 2025, the Comax C929 took off from Shanghai and landed in Lagos, Nigeria, after a non-stop 12,000-kilometer journey. This was more than a test flight. It was a bold statement. For decades, Boeing and Airbus dominated long-haul aviation. Now, China has entered the arena. The C929's flight is a symbol of China's ambition and technological rise. China, once the world's biggest buyer of Western aircraft, now signals it can build its own future in the skies. This shift impacts global trade, jobs, and the balance of power in a multi-trillion dollar industry. The world watched as the C929 completed its journey, celebrated in both Shanghai and Lagos. Chinese officials called it a triumph of national innovation. The timing is significant. Global competition and shifting alliances are at a peak. The C929's success raises big questions. Can it compete with Boeing and Airbus? What does it mean for global supply chains? For developing nations, it offers a new, affordable way to connect with the world. For Western manufacturers, it's a formidable new rival. This is about more than selling airplanes. It's about influence and technological leadership. The C929's journey from concept to record-breaking flight is a story of persistence and national pride. It marks a new era in aviation. The world of flight will never be the same. The sky's balance of power is shifting. China's path to building a world-class jet was long and difficult. Early efforts like the Shanghai Y-10 failed, teaching China that ambition alone wasn't enough. The country needed advanced technology, a vast industrial base, and global suppliers. By the 2000s, China's booming economy made it the biggest customer for Boeing and Airbus, an uncomfortable dependency. In 2008, Comac was founded to change that. Its first project, the C9119, faced setbacks and relied heavily on Western parts, but it was a crucial learning experience. The C919's commercial debut in 2023 marked a turning point. Comac then set its sights on the lucrative long-haul market with the C929. Initially, a joint venture with Russia, China eventually took the lead, making the C929 a symbol of self-reliance. The C929's development built a domestic supply chain and trained a new generation of engineers. Each setback fueled China's determination. The recent 12,000-kilometer flight is the culmination of decades of effort. It's not just a technical achievement, it's a declaration of independence. The C929's success is rooted in a history of struggle and persistence. China is no longer content to be a customer, it's now a creator. The dream of a Chinese-built, globally competitive jet is finally real. The world is watching. The stakes are higher than ever. The aviation landscape is changing. Developing the C929 was a marathon. The goal, a long-haul jet to connect China with the world. Comac studied Boeing and Airbus, aiming to match their performance and add new technologies. Over half the C929's airframe is composite, making it lighter and more efficient. Engine technology was a major hurdle. Initial flights used Western engines, but China is racing to develop its own. The pandemic, sanctions, and trade tensions caused delays, but Comac pressed on. Advanced manufacturing and digital modeling sped up development. The first prototype rolled out in late 2024, followed by a successful first flight in 2025. Rigorous testing built confidence in the aircraft's capabilities. The 12,000-kilometer flight to Nigeria was the crowning achievement. The C929 is proof China can manage complex, large-scale engineering. It's ready for the world stage. On November 15, 2025, the C929 lifted off from Shanghai, bound for Lagos. The route was chosen to showcase its long-range capabilities, matching Boeing and Airbus. The 14-hour, 45-minute flight proved the C929 could connect continents without refueling. Onboard test pilots, engineers, and officials monitoring every detail. 
The flight was flawless, ending with a water cannon salute in Lagos. The C929 maintained high speed and fuel efficiency, meeting its design goals. The world took notice. Media coverage was global and social media buzzed. In China, it was a top news story and a point of national pride. Choosing Lagos highlighted China's growing ties with Africa. The message, the C929 is for the world, not just China. A new option has arrived for emerging markets. For decades, airlines had two choices, Boeing or Airbus. The C929's arrival is the biggest challenge to this duopoly in a generation. Boeing and Airbus now face a powerful state-backed competitor. China is both a rival and their largest market. Future sales are at risk. The C929's success could trigger price wars and force new strategies. Countries with close ties to China may favor the C929. China is also building its own aviation ecosystem, from navigation to standards. The global aviation landscape could fracture into competing spheres. The West has been put on notice. Experts worldwide are weighing in. Aviation analysts call the C929's flight a major milestone, but warn that commercial success requires global certification and support networks. Chinese engineers and officials celebrate a victory for national innovation. State-owned airlines have already placed provisional orders, signaling strong domestic support. International airline executives see opportunity. More competition could mean better prices and innovation. Performance and price will decide the C929's fate outside China. Geopolitical analysts see the C929 as a tool of statecraft deepening China's influence through aircraft sales and financing. The C929 is more than engineering. It's a lever in global economics and politics. Its future will be shaped by both the market and geopolitics. The world is watching closely. The stakes are global. The C929 is central to China's grand economic strategy. It's the airborne extension of the Belt and Road Initiative a new silk road in the sky. By offering affordable modern jets, China can connect its partner nations. The C929 is expected to be cheaper than Western rivals, appealing to developing countries. The Lagos flight was a showcase of this strategy. To support the C929, China will build a global network of maintenance and training centers. This ecosystem means jobs, investment, and deeper economic ties. The C929 is a symbol of Chinese technological prowess and soft power. Every landing abroad reshapes perceptions of made in China. It's a flying ambassador for a new era. The C929's success shakes the foundations of global geopolitics. It challenges Western dominance in aviation, a pillar of economic and technological power. The U.S. may tighten export controls, pushing China towards self-sufficiency. Two separate aerospace ecosystems could emerge, dividing the world. For many countries, buying the C929 is now a political decision. Aircraft sales become high-stakes diplomacy. The C929 is a symbol of shifting power and ambition. The global order is changing, one flight at a time. E. The C929's record-breaking flight marks China's arrival as a true aviation power. The duopoly is broken. A new era of competition begins. The C929 is the result of decades of effort and ambition. Its success will force the industry to innovate and adapt. For developing nations, it offers new choices and opportunities. The story of the C929 is just beginning. The next chapter will shape the future of aviation and global power. The sky is open and the race is on.